Hello YouTube, today in this new installment of the hypertrophy series, we are talking about fatigue. I didn't want to make a video strictly about the topic because to be honest, defining fatigue is extremely simple. Fatigue is what we seek, it's what we want to achieve when we lift weights. You lift weights and the muscle fibers get torn to then be rebuilt through recovery, which is when you ingest food and nutrients, when you give your body time to rest so that the muscle can get bigger and stronger. And over time, that micro damage you inflict on the muscle fibers are going to lead to hypertrophy. This is how the muscle gets bigger. Not rocket science, it doesn't take 10 minutes to explain something so simple. So that is what we call fatigue. But it is a very specific type of fatigue. I think that a lot of uh, fitness YouTubers use the term but do not define it enough, not because they don't know better, but just because they don't feel the need. I personally feel the need. What I just described, the process in which hypertrophy takes place, I call muscular fatigue. And so muscle fiber that gets damaged, re which reduces its ability to produce force, which then recovers and gets bigger and stronger. If muscular fatigue is a thing, it also means there are different types of fatigue, which is why I needed to define it and give it its own niche. In this video, we are going to pin muscular fatigue with another type, which is cardiovascular fatigue, which sometimes go hand in hand, not always, and should not be confused with one another. A big thing that you will hear people discussing when it comes to programming is certain exercises, exercises or methods or schemes that are fatigue seeking. And you might ask yourself, if you don't know the distinction between the terms, why is that a bad thing? I'll make a complete video about it. It's a bad thing in this case, because those people are talking about cardiovascular fatigue. Why? A lot of the issues that stem from YouTube fitness, is that people walk out. People are moving their bodies to be exhausted, which does not mean your body is going to grow. If you're in this game for hypertrophy, you need to focus your efforts on muscular fatigue, because this is what is going to produce hypertrophy. Cardiovascular fatigue might be a byproduct of certain schemes which are going to target muscular fatigue, but it shouldn't be the end all be all. Just because an exercise makes you out of breath, it makes you tired, doesn't mean that it's a good hypertrophy exercise. Example, if I put 20% of your back squat on your shoulders and I have you squat nonstop, you're going to reach a point where your muscles are going to burn a lot, because they're going to be full of lactic acid. You, your breath is going to get ragged because your, your system is asking for more and more oxygen to keep the lactic acid out of the muscles and keep you moving. But that's not going to be a good way to stimulate your muscles. It's not going to lead to muscular fatigue. This is cardiovascular fatigue. In the sense that your breath is getting ragged. There's also another aspect of it, which I slightly touched with the lactic acid, which I call mechanical fatigue, but that, that's going to get its own video. So cardiovascular fatigue on the side, <clears throat> how do we achieve maximum muscular fatigue? And how do we not go too far? Because if you heard what I said before, you should also start to think about the potential damage that that type of fatigue can create. We tear the muscle fibers and then we want them to uh, get back and get bigger. But what happens if we go too far? Well, that's when injury occurs. When it comes to muscle, you can tear a muscle by itself within the structure of the muscle. You can also detach it from the tendon. That's a different uh, story for a different video. So our goal is to reach the point where the muscle is torn enough that it's not injured yet, but it's going to recover. 
which also means what? You have to keep in mind that you're going to have to give that muscle enough time to recover to be walked again. That's another variable you have to keep in mind for your training program if you want to maximize hypertrophy. This is also why all of those videos are going to be made, to give you all of the pieces so that you can make the perfect pie, which in a sense doesn't exist, nothing is perfect. But in this case, we already sort of know what the maximum damage inflicted on the muscle should be. It's called maximum recoverable volume. And I made a video about that. And when it comes to muscular fatigue, that's where we should aim. That number, as I said in the previous video, evolves all the time. So this is a game of adaptation on our part to make sure that we always make enough damage without injury. On the flip side, we don't want to not damage the muscle enough unless we have in our mind another use for it. Meaning what? If I go in one day and I don't fully reach the muscular fatigue I quit for one muscle group, it can also be a way for me to go back the next day or two days later and apply more damage to it so that I finish the muscle. This is a scheme, this is a, a tactic that you can apply. As far as assessing muscular fatigue, you can either go by the 48 hour window where people say that your muscle, your muscle is going to be fully recovered. You can go by feel, you can do what you want. Uh, one thing that I would say though is not accurate most of the time is touching the muscle and seeing if it's sore it is not going to give you a great indication of whether or not your muscle is fully recovered because you can stay sore for a week. But that's also going to be a topic for its own video. So that's pretty much that. The term fatigue is important to keep in mind. Why? Because this is what we want to achieve when we lift weights. Fatigue. But not every fatigue is born equal. There are different types of fatigues. There are different ways to reach fatigue. There are different outcomes to the fatigue. Multiple ways to recover from the fatigue, etc., etc. So that was an introduction to this theme. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.